Do. Now then, for all big occasions, us girls will dress in extraordinary ways to improve our appearance. Pull it in, suck it in, push it out, whatever. We'll try it all. Yeah, you will indeed. As Ruth Goodman <laughs> explains, it's always, always the girls. Now, seriously, I'm a tab. Do you think these trousers are a bit tight? Does my bum look big in this? Uh, this is fine. <laughs> now, would you tuck the shirt in? <laughs> <laughs> look at the film. <laughs> Possibly the least exciting name for an item of underwear you could imagine. It shouts 1950s, stretch and squeeze. Elasticated numbers that grabbed the girth, sucked in the waist, and 20 years later, fell fast out of fashion. Elasticated fabric was the girdle's vital ingredient. It revolutionized our underwear. Without the developments of elastane fabrics, we would all still be walking around in laced-up corsets. We still had that lovely, grippable support which the corset had given us. But at the same time, it allowed flexibility, movability, um, and it was practical. The girdle grew up in the 20th century as so-called foundation wear, the ultimate in comfortable control. You have no foundation, darling. What on earth are you talking about, corsets? No, my dear. Something much newer. Oh, what a perfectly gorgeous thing. Low back, uplift bust and everything. The very thing for that frock. Let's slip it on. Oh, I'd love to. New underwear for the new woman, with new fashions and passions. Certainly by the beginning of the 20th century, there comes actually an increase in people's active opportunities of the chance to maybe go to your local park and play tennis or croquet, or if you kept active through gymnastics. All of those things actually meant that you had to have different sorts of clothes in your wardrobe. It was the Leicestershire town of Market Harborough that found itself girdling the earth. The biggest employer, Symington's, had been making corsetry here since the 1830s. It had created the famous Liberty Bodies for Children and now turned its attention to liberating the grown-ups. So the girdle's sort of actually a development from, from different sorts of garments. You know, in the end of the 19th century, you've got sports corsets, which evolve into kind of health corsets and health belts. And the girdle kind of emerges by the 1920s as a completely different sort of styled garment with a sort of like an identity all of its own and, and certainly a clientele that preferred it. So the older women are sticking with the more traditional corsety thing. Absolutely. And the young girls are going, stuff yep. that. <laughs> Thoroughly modern, I'm having a girdle. <laughs> The girdle continued to adapt with the times, and when we reached the 50s, it found itself a new incarnation, the roll-on. We have a number of them in, in the museum collection, and you do look at them and you think, surely that is for somebody's leg, because it could not possibly <laughs> go on somebody. And the idea was that you literally rolled them on and that they then hopefully stayed in place. The arrival of the miniskirt saw the arrival of the panty girdle, pants with a bit of staying power also convenient for the new trouser wearers. But by the 70s, constricting underwear was a no-no, and the girdle became an object of derision. But it still lives on in Leicestershire. The De Montfort University runs the world's leading course in contour design. And in a quiet back street in Market Harborough is a cottage industry, keeping girdles going with the latest in stretchy fabrics. These days, Lycra has been developing very, very fine yarns that can be put into these fabrics that look as though they're barely even there. You can mix it with anything, it's amazing, with even silk and satin and modal, which is actually made from wood pulp. And you'd never believe that something this soft could be made from trees. It has to be comfortable, beautiful, sexy, make us feel amazing. No pain, no gain is something that we won't stand for anymore. We want all of the gain and none of the pain. Um, otherwise, where's the fun? So thanks to Elastic and its followers, our foundations have never been stronger. But what about those things that are often found on the ends of the Elastic? Stockings. But that's another story.
Cheeky the one wrist. show's getting raunchy, I tell you. Well, that other story, Stockings will be on the show tomorrow as a treat for Rod Stewart, who hopefully won't be in a girdle. <laughs> <laughs> no, fingers. <laughs>